Maybe tomorrow I'll wanna settle down, Mad Jack. Until tomorrow I'll just keep... And you can thank me for that meme you will keep in your head for the rest of the week. Alright guys, welcome back. Now we're gonna to talk to Johnny Shrapnel, Chill Winston, love the name, and Bullet Tooth nice Anthony. Charge. Things would be nicer. Is it? For would you say things. Anthony or for Anthony? Anyway, um, so the vagabonds. What mission are we on? We're on direct action. Direct action. Love it. Let's go. Look at these trousers. They're like they've got in. Oh, apart from him, they've got inflatables in them. Johnny Shrapnel, what's your plan? I've got an easy aspiration, boss. I say we take down the dredge. The mud chute prison boat? What do you mean, take it down? We crack it open and steal the yoke. There's a bunch of our blokes in there. Lab right here can sneak in, let everyone out, then set a few well-placed bombs to sink the whole damn place. I ever tell you you're a fucking lunatic, Johnny? You've mentioned it a few times, boss, but, uh... What exactly is it about this that seems so mad? The dredge is guarded to the tits. You <laughs> couldn't sneak a gnat's fart in there. <laughs> and what's the good in blowing it up? Syndicates have been trying to call us terrorists ever since we broke out that friend of Yvette's. If we bomb a prison, they'll just use that as propaganda against us. Not everyone's fond of prisons, Gaunt. And our lot in there have some grit in a fight. Would be nice to have them back in our numbers rather than rotting in the clink. There's some logic in your lunacy, Shrapnel. We could do with more hands. And it would stick it to the dogs if we break our boys out of the dredge. Alright. Tell our chum your plan, then. I love that. Smaller than a gnat's fart. I like or oh, some <laughs> gnat's fart. I remember I remember hearing the phrase in Somerset. I lived there for a few years. Beautiful, beautiful county in England. Where somebody said, I uh, smarter than her. <laughs> Sorry, I'm trying to do the accent. I'm, I'm going to go pirate on this one. Smarter uh, than a Nat's Tadger. <laughs> Nat's Tadger. Like, what's a Tadger? I mean, you know, like a Tadger. It's a lip. Like, they're, they're, they're dick. Yeah, okay. I suppose that is pretty small. What is the dredge? Syndicate's biggest and vilest prison. It's an old warship floating off the south end of Millwall. Its proper name is Mudshoot Prison. But everyone calls it the dredge. The gentry send the debtors and persons non grata to rot there. The dogs also have a special block for vagabonds to capture. The dredge has a reputation for people only getting out as dog food. And there's worse what happens inside. Torture, experiments, abuse. It's fucking hell. I'm looking forward to going. This sounds like a wonderful place. All right, Charisma Check, you seem to have a lot of personal hatred for this place. I don't blame you if everything you say is true. I spent some time there myself. Managed to get away when I was transferred to a work camp. Worst experience of my miserable life. So nothing would give me more pleasure than to see that Abaddon obliterated. Okay, how do we get in? There's a gangplank from the shore near the front, and there's groups of guards patrolling all the time there. It's pretty tight, like the boss said. No one's ever gotten in by brute force. But a lone nutter, being all sneaky like. I reckon it could work if you're clever. You'll want to go at night, of course. Less patrols, then. The door on the ship is locked, but it's not fancy if you know your way around some tumblers. Or you could try loot a key from the guard patrol, whilst not summoning all of Gehenna upon you. Should all be pretty easy in theory, right? This is fucking madness, Johnny. Why, Fred, are you feel up to this? Oh, hell yes. Uh, oh, hang on a minute. I've got only one out of eight agility. If this is the only way, then I'll have to make this work. I can be quieter than a gnat's fart if I need to. Oh, good. It wasn't just me who noticed that phrase. <laughs> quieter than a gnat's fart. I mean, if you're a gnat, uh, hello. I bet a gnat's fart could be pretty loud, especially after a curry. But if this is the only way, then I'll make it work. If things go tits up, then scram and come back when it's and all that's settled. Tits. Don't try to just force your way in. You'll raise too much hell. Got it. Got it. So what do I do when I'm in there? Our vagabonds are kept in a block near the front. But you'll have to take down the security system before you spring them. The cells themselves are unlocked from the warden's office down the back of the ship. There's a bigger block in the middle you can open the same way. 
full of the gentry's convicts. It would be good to set the whole place free. And have them all shot as soon as they try to leave. Our boys can handle themselves, but the other numpties will just get slaughtered or recaptured and we'll get the blame for it. Maybe our nuttery could help take out some of the enforcers. No one deserves to rot in that place. And if we get the other prisoners out, we're free to set the bombs and do some permanent fucking damage. Or end up with everyone sandwiched between explosions and syndicate enforcers. It would be a clusterfuck, Johnny. Let's just focus on getting our own lot out. Them others aren't our problem. But the dredge, maybe it's too hard. But damn, I'd love to see that hellhole sink. But I like the sound of this. It sounds like proper action sequence. Okay, I have it all figured out. I know what I'm doing. I've this is my first rodeo. Fan fucking tastic. Here, three bombs is enough to sink the ship if you get the chance to use them. They'll need placing around the lower deck. Once they're set, you'll need a scarper. Quick. Good luck, mate. Oh god. Well, that's one plan. Prison break, enter HMS, Her Majesty's ship. Dredge, which we did come across actually in the last episode. My mother All right, Winston, chill. Farmer. All right, gents. Well, so tell me, what does the syndicate have in abundance that we don't? Web tools, herpes, <laughs> literally everything. No, no, no. I mean, yeah, probably. But I'm thinking of one thing in particular: supplies. Boo. While we're choking down squirrel stew and using rock gut whiskey to treat anything from the flu to a bullet in the head. The IODS has enough food and medicine to supply both them and the whole of Westminster. I feel it's high time we alleviate them of some of that excess and put ourselves in a position to succeed. After all, health is wealth. So what are you suggesting we do about it? And if you say a train robbery again, I swear to God. Well, now, just hear me out. There's a train that makes up a third of the Syndicate supply line, and... Oh, for fuck's sake, Winston. Hmm. You've been reading your bloody spy comic books again. You're not 006 or whatever. Give it a rest. Well, it's 005, actually. And what I read in my spare time has nothing to do with this. I really don't see what your issue is, anyway. They have supplies. They transport them via train. We rob the train. It's simple. It's not bloody simple. It's never bloody simple. There are far too many variables at play in a job like that. We broke even by the skin of our bollocks on the supply run to the lab. And you want to up the ante? Not a chance. Out of the question. That's just it though, innit? You're looking at the ones and zeros of the returns from the lab. But the real intangible score of that job run is staring us right in the bloody face. What are you on about? What the wayfarer? Hmm. Not a bad point. All right, fine. Here's what we'll do. Let's send the Wayfarer to strap on a tux and play international spy. And if they don't come back, we're only back to net zero on that lab run. Look, I get a say in this, right? Seems like the more people we send, the better chance of success we'd have. But yeah, sure, I'll take what I can get. Good. You should be thanking me for even agreeing to that. The stakes of a job like this are still sky high. Seeing as if the Wayfarer fucks this up, the heat comes down on our heads like a red coach deli belly. You hear that, Wayfarer? If you muck this up and get yourself killed, I'll find you in the afterlife and shit down your throat for the rest of eternity. My, my. There's, I tell you, there's a lot of people who threaten to do that. Mad Jack's been running around saying he's gonna tear off people's heads and shit down their throats. It's, it's, it's beautiful dialogue, honestly. I, 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 I don't know what to say. In fact, maybe I should just say nothing. There's a silence option here. Excellent. So the train passes through Poplar Station. That's where you'll be heading first. The station is a syndicate outpost, so you'll most likely have to put down some dogs to get to the control room. Once you're there, all you have to do is switch the train's route to Canning Town Station. Hop aboard, and Bob's your uncle, you're done. We'll be waiting in Canning Town to unload the supplies. Easy peasy. Yeah, I'm sure it'll be just that simple. What could go wrong? It's only the Syndicate's most important and highly guarded assets we're talking about. So in case it's not the sunny stroll in the park that Winston is presenting it as, take these explosives. If we can't have those supplies, nobody can. Get me? If things start going south, blow that train to kingdom come. Even if we come away empty-handed, 
At least we'll muck up the Syndicate's main supply lines. But securing those supplies is still the main objective. So don't go blowing them up for the hell of it. Any questions? Yeah. Actually, yeah. But it's not really to you. Every now and again, like, I mean, I love the etymology of words. I, I, I do, and, I, and I've, I know some, I don't know all, and I love the derivation of, of words and phrases, but there are sometimes there's a phrase that comes along and you think, I use this so many I'm times. I'm starting to feel like I'm talking to myself here. Well, I'm, I'm talking to myself here. Shush. And, I, and there's a phrase, that, this, this one phrase he just used, that, that comes back again and again. And I think, and I've used it all my life. I have no idea where it comes from. Is Bob's your uncle? And to extend it, we I'm used to say, to feel like I'm talking to myself here. Shh, Bob's your uncle and Fanny's your aunt. Now, who's Bob and who's Fanny? And where does that phrase come from? Answers in the chat. Thank you. I know I could Google it, but I'm in the middle of a game here. Right, why are the Syndicate sending supplies to the gentry? The fat cats of the gentry struck a bit of a deal with the mangy mutts of the Isle a while back. In exchange for guns, slave labour, tickets, and a promise not to kick down their doors in the middle of the night, the Syndicate supplies Her Majesty and the distinguished royal court with food, medicine, and other essentials. But it's no secret that there's very little love lost between the lot. All it might take to get the gentry to double back on their little deal is a slight rock of the old boat, if you catch my drift. Something like a dashing rogue agent with a license to kill, intercepting their supply run, for instance. Okay, this is me wearing my quote-unquote 006 outfit. Oh, sorry, 005, as, as he said. And he corrected uh, old what's-his-face over there. Okay, so what should I expect at Poplar Station? I don't know for sure, but there's a scene in Radfinger where 005 boards Radfinger. a moving train to neutralise an A-bomb <laughs> somewhere in the Swiss Alps. Goldfinger. If that's even loosely based on reality then I'd expect heavily armed goons everywhere. Maybe some bookish scientists in lab coats. And I wouldn't count on the possibility of a few trained martial artists either. Oh, of course. They'll attack you on sight, so your best bet is to go in stealth and kill them one by one, preferably with a silenced pistol. Well, guess what? That's my weapon of choice. I love that. I love the title, though. Sorry, it's my Shirley Bassey. I hope you enjoyed it. What kind of supplies are we talking about? Medicine. Wool other finished goods and the like. But most importantly, anything you've been craving while licking the lid of a tin of dog food, what? they've got it in that train. Bangers and mash, eggs and rashers, proper baked beans, fish and chips, steaks as thick as a phone book, they've got it all. You pull this job off and we'll quite literally be eating like royalty. Bangers and mash. I doubt royalty would touch it. They would call it saucisson avec uh, pomme de terre. Let's do it. Good luck, mate. The lads will see you in Cannon Town. Quick, take this before Gaunt sees. <gasps> dun, 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 a spy pistol. Shh. Christ. This is such a mistake. I like this. We're being set up for... Th the train job was being set up for three different plans here. One left. What's your back? Bullet Tough Tooth to Anthony with far too many T's in his name if... He actually had had a bullet to the tooth. It'd be bullet oof. Guns is what we need, boss. Syndicate always have more than us. Way more. We can't win a war without enough weapons. Syndicate get regular supplies from the gentry factories. I know of a depot they run in a warehouse by West India Quay. I say we break in there and clean it out. You must be joking. Security will be tighter than a rat's arse there. I'd have to send a whole team to get more than a handful of guns. It's too dicey by half. I know a gal that might be able to help us. An old, uh, associate. Oh, mm-hmm. She could find a way past the systems there. At least long enough to shift some crates out. We just need someone to break in and open the loading bay from the inside. No, this is just stupid. Get your fucking brain and gear. I want to hurt the dogs, not do some petty theft. Anything we nick, they just replace in a week. We'd be better off burning the place down. Destroy whatever's there, fancy security and all, and fuck up their supply operations for months. Wouldn't even take much explosives to fry a weapons dump. You're cool, boss. 
But there's bound to be some lovely gear in there. We'd be a crying shame to see it all go to waste. If we're burning a place down, then there's no harm in nabbing some guns while we're at it, is there? Okay, sure. But that's just some frosting. The real aim here is to fuck over the Syndicate. You've been paying attention, Wayfarer. Got it. Got it. I got three plans. I got three missions. This is... Oh, it's like I've won the lottery. You want me to break into the Syndicate's warehouse, grab some guns, and burn it to the ground? Good. Take these charges. Find a way into this warehouse and set them somewhere that'll cook extra crisp. And take this old card of mine and go see Frosty Valentina. She runs a bakery these days near Millwall High Street. She should recognize the card from our old days. I'd go see her myself, but the Syndicate sniffers would kill me on sight. Tell her what you're about, and she can sort you with something to bypass the security systems. Waste of time. We don't need this Millwall bint. Hey, no need to talk about Valentina like that. Fine. I just want the fucking job done. No distractions. Again, that's another- oh, arms race. So that's another phrase I haven't heard for a while. I used to- I used to I heard people say, you silly bint. And it was almost always uh, directed at a woman. But what does where did again? Where does that word the come from? Shot done, never hurt anything. Well, we got three plans, and uh, I'm feeling good about all of them. It sounds like we've extended and expanded the game today. Ooh, ooh, my 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 Nat's tadger is tingling. Nice. Oh, Jack, are you commenting on the weather? It is beautiful, isn't it? We've we've done ourselves proud here. So, we delve into the mission list. This is great. So we've got the lieutenant's task, the lieutenant's task. I must remember to pronounce it like that. Of course, you see the word is, and it goes, oh, it's lieutenant. No, it's lieutenant. It means it's the, 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 it's the tenant of the general who stood on the left. That's why we called it left nodes, and it was it was frank frankified way back when when they bastardized our language. <laughs> I'm sure that's the tr I'm probably wrong. Anyway, oh, we got level ups in there as well. God, do you know I don't need them. I'm just too good. So which one do we go for first? Arms race, the train job, prison break. I'm I fancy arms race to speak with Frosty Valentina because I love the name. All right, we're going with we're going with Frosty Valentina first. We'll come back to you, the rest of you, later. Into oh, the Syndicate Warehouse at Kino World Cinema. How interesting is it? Well, it is to me. Oh, oh, really? I've just had a pop up on my screen for a, for a new G-Force driver. And it totally distracted me there. Mad Jack is down. We need to get the hell out of here. This suit need taken out. Come on, come on. He's only a little one, Jack. You take care of him. I'm going to I'm going to steal the custard creams and and have a little sweet roll. With the cherry bakewells, warehouse key card that might come in useful. Let's get this over with. I'll have the second one just in case I run out. Hey, I used to go. I'll get you. I'll get you. Oh, is the, the the ghost that haunts you, Jack? He will get you. Okay, uh, I don't know if I've been here before, but so the famous 005, the British spy of Fallout London. We've got Emp Fall. What's that a mick take of? Uh, neutron Ball. Okay, so that'd be like, oh God, what is it? Thunderball. Thunderball, Neutron Ball. Atom Pussy, Octopussy. Such a terribly crass pun of a name of a, of a mill. Radfinger, which we just heard about, AKA Goldfinger. Radfinger. And a couple of missing posters. I still can't, I don't know what Emp Fall is. Anyway, let's 
go. Can't go. Now we can. Optional, let the vagabonds in. Oh, burn the warehouse, let the vagabonds in. Oh, wait a minute, did I speak to... Whatever her name was. Oh, maybe I didn't. So we didn't speak to someone. I must have missed... Uh... It. Okay, okay. I I, I don't know. I, I think we missed a chance to talk to a new character there, Jack. Uh... Who? Yeah. Oh, like that. Should have Keep definitely um Bastard. some absolute joker is messing gone silent. <laughs> Honestly, these guys. You ain't got a chance, my friends. You ain't got a chance. Don't make me have to find you. Oh, hi. Can everyone stop getting shot? Will everybody stop getting shot? Lock stock and two smoking barrels. Quotes. Oh, I love that. Give me all you got. I'll have that. And I'll have that. I'll get you for that, you prick. Not here. There you are. Will everybody just stop getting shot? Alright, well, we were supposed to do this stealthily. Do you know what? It don't effing matter. We are. A fighting machine. Okay, let's let the danger pass. And we might be able to do some of this stealthily, Jack. With your big damn mallet. He's wandering around here like Thor. Boiled sweet. Well, I don't mind if I do. Checking for loot. Be everyone, be calm. Pretend like we were never here. Okay, okay. I'm annoyed we didn't speak to whatever her name was. Was it Valentina or something? Be nice to have a new character in play. Tickets only. Kino World. snaffle ourselves some tickets because that's probably going to be really important here ticket sales yeah there we go atom the oh the the world's not enough the atom's not enough the man with the gamma gun the man with the golden gun from china with love from russia with love radiation is forever diamonds are forever and mr no or dr no as mr yes this is brilliant i love it i love it and a resignation dot text. It's a damn shame what's happened to cinema in Britain. It's been on a steady decline for decades. It's only getting worse. I took this job because I love cinema, not because I wanted to participate in its downfall. The big studios are to blame, of course. They're always churning out the same cookie cutter blockbuster films, and the British public just eat them up. They don't care about quality or originality anymore. They just want to see the latest explosion fest. And what do we do when there's a dry spout of these films? We resort to gimmicks such as 005 Week, exclusively screening a century-old film series the entire week to cash in on nostalgia. Kino, my ass. This is the last straw. It's a sad state of affairs, and it doesn't look like things are going to get any better anytime soon, so I quit. You will already know this by the time you read this, but I won't be coming into work tomorrow. Up yours, Dirk. Get on you, Dirk. You tell him. You tell him. No more of this cow towing to film popularity. Who. Never mind what the public want. You knew better, Dirk. Only the Cineworld storeroom key can open. Oh, hold on a second. Hold on a second, I can smell you. Oh. Are we being fucked with? 
No, it's just a couple of turrets. Jack, don't worry, I got it, mate. I got it covered. We're still in danger, though. I was supposed to do this stealthily. And I've effed up the whole thing. Ooh. Ooh, I found one of the cinemas. I'll be back. Oh, the police standby fallout screen. Oh, that's a beautiful little homage. What was that? Uh, that was me missing a shot. Big mistake! And another one. Okay, good good job there, Jack. I, I left that one for you. Good. I didn't want to kill it. I can hear the, the rotation of a, of a turret in here somewhere, or very close. I do like that, though. Please stand by. From the days when Fallout games got me all giddy. All giddy with the release schedule. Okay, okay, okay. Got to remember, we're playing a game here and we've got to be careful. You hear oh, something? Do I hear something? Lads, do I hear found something? Them. What was that? I don't know, Jack. Oh! Ugh. Yeah, dude. Don't worry, I got it. He's down. Oh, oh, here we go. He has stealthily placed the bomb. Completed. Burn the warehouse. You never stood a fucking chance. Do I have to get out of here now? I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna just, just take a little save in case I'm not quick enough. I feel like I want to explore a little more. Who fills up a cinema with a... Oh, and what is that? Oh. <gasps> Illuminati. They're in Fallout. I'm glad he cut off that sentence. Okay. I saw it. I saw the text come up and I've got to say, Jack, I was ashamed of you. Oh, there you are. Thank God. Thank God for that. My bear hope I don't see him again. Right, we've got one more. Uh, I guess this is another place to plant a bomb. Honestly, <laughs> I'm tanking too much of these. I could do with a little break. A little rest. I think they missed an opportunity. I suppose if they'd have been able to spend a few more months on the game, and, and maybe they wanted to, uh, or the mod, I should say. God, it so feels like an outstanding. Oh, where the oh, we got another one kicking off up here. Yeah. Right, you be quiet. And don't get up, you spongy muppets. <laughs> you spongy muppets. What a phrase. Yeah, I, I think they would have probably enjoyed. Um, Filling in some of the, the, the sections of the game with little jokes. You know, that's a subtle one. P plunger on top of a, a toilet seat. Why would it be there? I like it. Camera at the back. Interesting. I don't want to know. Uh, but in, in the um, original Fallout games, there'd have been some skeletons placed in those sections. With questionable... Um, oh, I've let the vagabonds in. Um, with questionable intent shall we say it would have been clear something slightly upsetting was going on right i think we're done here did your mum teach you better what what vagabond Careful where soldier you tread, or you'll give me a reason to have fun oh 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 no ah! Oh! Pay for that one! Pay for that one! Pay for what? Jack's got stuck in the door! Um, is everybody alright? Inaccessible. 
It's now ch rechained on the other side. So is, was that success? Return to Anthony. I guess it was. <gasps> well, we blew up a cinema. My God. I could have let them in um, if I'd have been quicker about it. Upton Burke Electronics. So so I, I guess the whole... Oh, look at that. Yeah. It's still a flame on this side. Now it's completely inaccessible. Oh, wait a minute. Nope, we can't go in. Well, there you go. Well, that's a building we'll never, ever see again. Oh, how cool. I mean, I don't know if it's cool. Probably not. Disappointing. Uh, right. Return to Anthony. Back at a swan and my... Ah, let's go. All right, Vagabond. If I'm watching you, at least two others are doing the same. Don't try nothing. I won't try nothing. But I've got to say, you guys are the, probably the best dressed in London. I love the, the, the simple suits. They are very nice. And you always wear a waistcoat as well. It's it's a touch of class, I think. Most people don't do it these days, but it always looks... My mother looks wanted me to be a farmer. Extra. But I get my hands dirty in other but it's, ways. But it's your, it's your subtle shoulder... Arm, armor and and wrist armor uh, you know i do love it i think it looks fantastic and i guess the soft cloth cap finishes it off these guys are rather rather well dressed i shall say the vagabonds win uh win the fashion competition in fallout london if you're gonna walk around like that at least build some muscle are you talking to me? Or chewing a brick? Because either way, you're going to break your teeth, mate. Bullet tooth, Anthony. I see we have a clothing problem, but uh, don't worry, I still think it's smart. Well, well, the hero returns. The boys came back a while ago, told me you did a fine job, and they nabbed a good haul, too. The old gang's gonna be better equipped now. I owe you a pint for this, mate. Enough of that. I want a proper debrief. Ooh. Tell it from the start. I shall take your briefs now. Oh, you don't mean that kind of a debrief. Sorry, right. Um, well, uh, I I didn't speak to Valentina. Oh, that's who I was supposed to, supposed to speak to and got a Forge access card. Did I? Did I? I had a conversation. Maybe I did. I've just forgotten who she is. Are you always this quiet, or is it just around strangers? Uh, no, I'm always this quiet when I'm contemplating what to say. It's it's called not speaking uh, without thinking. Most people should do it more often. I spoke to Valentina, and I got a forged access card. I don't remember. I didn't speak to her in this episode, that's for sure. Must have got it before. Oh, how's she holding up? Um... Uh, yeah, very good. She said she'd like to see you again. Mention getting her hands on your tools. <laughs> Guess what? She's eager to meet up with you. There was a lot of innuendo. Well, I mean, we can use the innuendo by not saying there was innuendo. If you want an example of innuendo, you I'll give you one. Quiet. Oh, she is a cheeky one. Well, well, if things settle down a bit, it would be nice to pay her a visit. This is making me fucking sick. And you can forget about things settling down. That's the opposite of what's going to happen. But never mind that. You got into the warehouse then? Uh, yes, well I did, yes, yes. I bypassed the security without much trouble and managed to open the door for the lads. We left before more enforcers came and had to go without what, with what we had. Sorry, I rushed that a little bit. Uh, got, got in, got the doors open, dealt with the dogs, and left before more dogs showed up. We got away, job sorted. Very nice. You've done well. These supplies are going to make a big difference, believe me. I'm well chuffed. Listen to you two mugs. Clapping yourselves on the back over nothing. 
The Syndicate still stands. A couple I'm still of wearing pants. Of guns won't bother them. We've risked a lot for pittance here. I've only got Pathetic. my underpants on. Oh gosh, how embarrassing. I haven't got... <laughs> the armor works. I mean, that still looks good, but hey, you know, but mind you, some, there's not many people that can pull off the tighty-whitey armor look, is there? It's only me. You know it. Actually, the warehouse at least no longer stands. The whole place is, is charcoal. That a problem? What, two groups of enforcers on top of you and you just waltz back in all alone to blow things up? Gordon fucking Bennett. That's some moxie you got there, mate. I'll say. Bloody amazing. Well, I'm glad you're on our side. I wouldn't want to go up against someone as fucking mad as that. Something like this deserves a special reward. Yeah, have this, pal. It's that laser rifle I showed you earlier. Oh, yeah, I remember. What? I've been tinkering away at it, and she's a right daisy now. I hope it serves you well. Right. Well, that's a happy ending and a half. Now, what's next? Well, there we go. Arms race completed it. What weapon did he give me? I need to check it out because I'm sure it's probably as useless as everything else I've got that isn't called the Scatamanga. Automatic ram shackle. Oh, that's one we picked up in the last episode. So where were you? Where were you? Where are you? Tar Here we go. The targeting agitated Upton Burke class... The name is so long it doesn't even fit in the window. Inspecting. Oh, okay. Upton class, uh, class C, which is still uh, mildly legal, <laughs> questionable, but not enforced type of weapon, a drug weapon. Uh, it's a rifle pistol, a rifle pistol. Now, isn't that a bit of an oxymoron? I, I know some people have called me that before. So, damage 57, uh, I've got some cells, fire rate's 50, we'll give it a little rollout and see how it goes. I mean, it looks nice. Ooh, and it fires straight, recoil, not bad at all. Alright, welcome to my little friend for the next episode, guys. I know it's a little shorter than usual, but, um, well, it is. I, I have no excuses, I just ran out of time today. Hope you had a nice episode. <laughs> what, what am I saying? Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one. All the best. Take care and good night.